So ZipWhip is a text messaging provider. The challenges that led us to move to the cloud was honestly came down to two points, security and procurement. But we did it in nine months with three people. So we moved everything out of the colo. And this is supporting like 280% growth um, across the platform as a whole. So we literally were holding up half the company with one hand as we're trying to like move to the next gen of everything on the other hand. And AWS was really the, the, the reason we were able to achieve it. And so we turned on AWS and in a week we scaled AWS another 20% and the next week another 20% because we were literally growing that fast. And so, you know, we spec'd out what it would be to buy hardware and it was ridiculous amount of cost and ridiculous timelines, you know, and we're here pushing buttons, making a simple phone call to get a limit raised and all of a sudden we could provision 20 new VMs into some of our Kubernetes clusters and different things we're running. Um, to, to be online very quickly. So the F5 sit kind of on our internal edge, as we call it. So they're, they're between our, our AWS network and our colos. But at the same time, they provide a great visibility for us. You know, so just even just the single appliance, we can see the package, we can see the connections. So if someone comes to us and says, you know, my, my connections isn't working, we're easily really able to, you know, find where that problem is. And because everything traverses through it, you know, it's, it's a simple place for us also just to capture data. You know, on top of, you know, leveraging big IPs, you know, we were a huge Nginx customer. So we use Nginx for a lot of our ingresses into our Kubernetes clusters. AWS has provided the, the infrastructure for us to run, the scalability to run at the scales that we're running at, the message flow that we're running at, the performance that we need. And then on top of that, F5 has just been as performant. You know, we were able to drop that in and it was able to keep up with the underlying EC2 speeds and everything there. And then it's provided the same visibility for us, you know, across the board. And 